Let's see if it notices my bike. I'm sort of off to the side. Though technically these lights are supposed to turn green when nobody's waiting. So I guess we'll see. I'm sort of just giving people enough room just in case they need it. Okay. Don't need to do that at all. It's just uh, I chose to. Okay, let's see what's around here. I'm sort of out here on this bike ride, mainly to find some food. <sighs> some, something good. I really gotta learn how to make stuff. <sighs> let's see. It's like, it's like the place I'm always looking for is never here. Maybe I'm just like looking at it from a wrong area. I'm just curious. Let's see. New China, I don't think that's the place. Best burritos in town, that's it, that's it. Okay. Let's see, we're gonna set my bike down for a bit. I brought 10 bucks, 12 at most. Let's see. I'll sort of take you guys in. I'm thinking of picking up a burrito. Okay. Let's see what they have. Okay, guys, they give me the right thing is all I just want to see. Should have. Let's see. Super Burrito 629, yep, that's the one. Okay. I'll just give you a view. I'm gonna eat this at home anyway, but here, I'll show you what I got. In, in the pack. Pretty cool, huh? All right. Yeah, I'm gonna go home with this, so uh, maybe this would be like a short video or something. Uh, I was just hungry. I didn't really want to eat anything around the house, you yeah. know. It all seems smaller than I remembered. It's probably just me just never having it right out in front of me. Nobody stole the bike, we're good. I really need a tougher lock. I will get one eventually. Here, I'll put this in my backpack. Okay, let's see. I will put this with my waterproof jacket. I should have gotten maybe like some footage of, you know, inside the building. If I turned it on. Here, I'll give you a look at the place. If you ever come in Ripon, this is kind of where we are at. All this place. Hope I framed it right. Supposedly, they have the best burritos in town. I can vouch for them. Even though I've really only tried uh, super burritos, I think. Or maybe some others. Yeah, I uh, ordered a super burrito for $6.29. Who knows if that is a... Uh, Overpriced or not, I was hungry, so. We'll see, anyways. Uh, as of right now, I just brought $10 and was hoping to eat some food, so I'm not all too worried about overprice or anything like that. It's not like I'm super well-versed in all the restaurants I could be going to to, you know, find the best of the best. I wanted something warm, something like a burrito. I could have gone to Subway and got like a $6 foot long. Those things are pretty long, but probably never is filling 
unless you'll ask for a lot on it. You know, every single time I go out to these restaurants and back onto the bike, I always think, am I missing something? I don't think I am. Allow me to think if I have or not. What I'm thinking is I'm just gonna go back to my room and uh, watch some YouTube videos, uh, run some more tests on some Minecraft replay mod stuff, and eat a burrito, which hopefully looks, which hopefully, you know, is larger than it looks. Yeah, anyways, it'll probably be fine. It's food anyway. Uh, I had an opening, but I guess Safe and sorry, I guess, otherwise I'm gonna start scaring people. Once this guy goes, I'm fucking Okay. Taken care of. I honestly have no idea who has the right of way on these streets. No idea. I think it's just, you know, whoever goes. That person was kinda gonna bolt it if I wasn't there. But we just had the normal head nod and I'm like, okay, we're all good here. Taking you guys behind some buildings. Yeah, it's been raining all morning, so, uh, you know, once it finally stopped raining, I was like, I'm hungry. Either I'm gonna eat some Cheerios, like two bowls of Cheerios to satisfy my appetite, or I'm gonna go out for a bit. I rarely ever go out just because uh, I don't wanna waste the monies. Hey, Vince. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna wait for my turn here. You might have seen him on frame. That was Vince. He and I have uh, gone way back. Went to school since probably like third grade or something. I think he's sort of on the streets now. Doesn't have really anywhere to go. I doubt he's gonna watch this, so I don't really worry too much if uh, he sees it. Why are you talking about me? <clears throat> he wouldn't probably care less. He's very cool though, very good guy. Unfortunately, he's on like drugs and all that. If I remember correctly. Or is it alcohol? Probably drugs. That's the thing, yeah. You know some cool friends, but even, you know, some of them can go down that route, but they're still your friends, it's just, didn't make the best life choices. <sighs> Either way, hopefully he finds something that's good for him and doesn't kill himself with drugs or anything like that. Just the normal hope. You good? All right. I probably should have just gone. I was even on lower gear. Nobody was behind us, so thank goodness. Most people sort of book it, though, uh, I don't know. You sort of just get used to it. Is my light on? No, it isn't. Now it's on. Alrighty, carry on, guys. Take the lane, they'll be there. Ah. <sighs> 
up the overpass. Up and up. People are booking it through. It's like us become assertive on this road. And he wasn't even going to the freeway. Signal to get over. You know, I really wonder if uh, if there's anything uh, bad against a cyclist going through these white lines. For a car, it's illegal. Probably it's illegal for us too, but it doesn't seem to be even a problem. So, uh, I don't know. Me wondering. I mean, if we had to follow that white line rule to the letter, some streets, you just have these long white lines. They need to keep up a pace so the cars behind you don't get completely slowed down and angry at you. <clears throat> I guess you can logically reason why you would be fine with passing through those white lines. I don't know, just a, just a thought. All right, guys, it's been fun. See you later.